I like to explain how radio wave actually propagate. There are mainly three way how radio wave propagate. The first one will be ground wave, followed by sky wave, and last but not least, space wave. Let's take a look on this diagram in order to understand what is ground wave, sky wave, and also space wave. Let's start with the ground wave. So basically, ground wave actually is also known as surface waves. And you can see from here, they actually travel along the Earth's surface. So therefore, this is how they actually get the name ground wave. Next will be sky wave. What is actually sky wave? As you can see from this diagram here, sky wave is basically you beam your transmission right into the sky and they propagate. And then when they actually hit the ion sphere because of the different density, the wave actually bend and basically after that, return back to the Earth to reach the receiving antenna. This is what we know as sky wave. Next will be space wave. In short, for space wave, there are mainly two types. One is basically with a direct line of sight. So this is what we call the space wave. For this form of communication from the satellite all the way to the receiving antenna, this is also known as space wave. Beside the line of sight, we also have the ground reflector wave that will be classified under space wave also. So in short, space wave can also be equal to the direct wave plus the ground reflector wave. Okay, so with this, this ground reflector wave in fact will become phase shift. Okay, this become a big issue for space wave. Let's take a closer look on the three of them. The characteristics for ground wave propagation is actually the, they actually follow the curvature of the Earth. As you can see from here, they actually so-called copy the ground of the Earth and basically this is how they actually propagate. They are actually very effective at lower frequency, okay, typically at low frequency or very low frequency from 3 to 300 kilohertz here. So they are mainly used for AM broadcast, which is hardly used nowadays, and also for marine time communication. Next will be on the sky wave propagation. Typically for this type of sky wave propagation will be used in medium frequency to high frequency from 3 to 30 megahertz. Okay, the key difference is basically the wave actually will be reflected. Okay, basically when they hit the atmosphere, okay, they will actually return back to the Earth. Okay, so this actually enables long distance communication. In fact, this can afford to have even thousands of kilometers of communication. So they actually use short wave broadcasts mainly for military communication. Next will be space wave propagation. Space wave propagation refer to the transmission of radio wave directly from the transmitter to the receiver, either through the line of sight or after reflection from the ground. Okay, it is commonly used in BHF and also UHF. Very high frequency from 30 to 300 megahertz. Ultra high frequency from 300 megahertz to 3G. Okay, and mainly they are used for television broadcasts mobile communication, radar, and satellite link. 